Hello students, today we're going to talk about intro to trigonometry. This is part three of our three-part series. So what we've learned so far is that when we have a series of right triangles, take for example this right triangle right here, if I know two of the sides of the right triangle and I'm looking for the third, I can use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find the missing side. I've also learned that if the triangle is a 45-45-90 or a 30-60-90, then I can use some special ratios in order to find the missing pieces of that triangle. Well, in the last video, we talked about the fact that, well, what if it's not a special triangle? What if I don't know two sides of the triangle? I only know one side, but I know an angle. What can I do? Well, we found out that we could use something called the trigonometric ratios in order to find the missing sides. As long as I know one side and one angle, I can find the other two missing sides. And we use the trig ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, the way we can remember what the ratio is, is we use a phrase called SOKOTOA, which stands for Sa, sine, is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. And we use those ratios to find the missing sides of a triangle, of a right triangle, if I knew one angle and one side. Well, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at, well, what if I know two sides of the triangle but I want to know the angles of that triangle. <clears throat> so today what we're going to do is we're going to look at what we call our inverse trig ratios. Okay, so if you'll notice, our sign now has a negative 1 on it. That means it's the inverse. So regular trig ratios, we know an angle and a side, and we use that to find other sides. Well, inverse trig ratios, we use the sides to find a missing angle. So that's what we're going to look at today. Now, how do I get to those inverse trig ratios? Well, if we go back to our calculator, we know that our regular trig ratios are found right here. Well, to do the inverse trig ratios, if you look above that key, if we look above that, we actually see the inverse. Sine negative 1, cosine negative 1, and tangent negative 1. Now, these ratios act a little different so we've got to make sure that we understand how to type them in and how we set up the problem, but they're really pretty simple. Okay, so let's see if we can do that. Let me see if I can shrink this back down so that it's normal size. Not there. There we go. And let's see if we can do that. So real quick, kind of pause the video and write these ratios down for me. Inverse sine is equal to, oh, look at there. It's still opposite over hypotenuse. But do you notice that it's a little different? In the other ratios, we had sine, and then an angle measurement is equal to, and then the opposite of hypotenuse was on the other side of the equal sign. This time it's not. It's actually found within the parentheses, which means it's going to provide us with an angle measurement. Okay, so that's why we're looking for an angle measurement. But the ratios are still the same. Sine is still opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is still adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is still opposite over adjacent. And we learned last in the last video how we can determine which side is what. Okay, so let's see if we can do some problems. Here are three questions that we're going to look at. And we're going to find both angles of the triangle. Even though the problem only asks for one angle, we're going to find both of them anyway. And I'm going to show you a couple ways to do that. One way is kind of hard. The other way is really simple, if you have some common sense. So let's take a look at this first problem. First thing we need to do, just like everything else, just like we did in the last video, we need to label the parts of the triangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the angle that I want to know. That's the angle that I'm going to put an arc on. Now we know that arc is going to hit two pieces of the triangle. It's going to hit the hypotenuse, and it's going to hit the adjacent. The other side is the opposite. So now we're going to set up our ratio according to these ratios right here. Okay. So we ask ourselves the same two questions. What do I know? Well, in this particular one, we're going to know two sides. We know the opposite and we know the adjacent. So which ratio is going to use opposite and adjacent? 
That's our tangent ratio. So we're going to do tangent inverse parenthesis, and we're going to put in our parenthesis the two side measures according to their ratio. So we're going to do opposite, which is 18.1, divided by adjacent, which is 24.9. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use that ratio to determine the measure of x. Now again, before we can begin working with our calculator, we have to make sure that our calculator is in the right mode. So we press the mode button and we arrow down until we get to degree and radian. Make sure that degree is highlighted and hit the enter key because we have to be in degree mode in order to do this. Okay, so second mode. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type in second tangent. So second tan, you'll notice we get the negative one. Then we're going to do 18.1 divided by 24.9. Close parenthesis, enter. And what you find out is, is that you get a numeric value that is like an angle measurement. <clears throat> and we're going to still round to the nearest tenth. So this one's going to be 36.0 degrees. So the measure of this angle angle X here with side lengths of 18.1 and 24.9 is 36 degrees. Now there are two ways of finding this other angle and we're going to call it angle Y. There's two ways. One way is we can go back and relabel our triangle. Okay, so now I'm going to find this angle. So now since I re-arced my triangle, this is still my hypotenuse, but this is now adjacent and this is now opposite. Okay, so again, we're still using opposite and adjacent, so we're still looking at tangent negative 1, but this time my opposite is 24.9, and my adjacent is 18.1. So we go back to our calculator, second tangent, 24.9, divided by 18.1, close parenthesis, equals... And we find out that y degrees is equal to 53, well, actually, 53.98. It's really going to round to 54.0 degrees. Now, my x and my y here, if this is a 90-degree angle, then I know that my x and my y have to add together to give 98. So does 36 and 54 make 98? Well, let's see, 36 plus 54, look at there, 90 degrees. So, what other way do you think we could find that missing angle? So, if I knew this angle here and found out that it was 36 degrees, how do you think I could find this missing angle? Right, just subtract it from 90. So, you could find X, and to find Y, you just do 90 minus the 36 and you'd get the 54 degrees. And that's the fast way of doing it. <clears throat> so let's do one more together, and then I'll have you do one by yourself. Okay, so in this one, first thing we do is we place an arc on the angle that I know or want to know. Then I label the parts of the triangle. This becomes hypotenuse, this becomes adjacent, and the other side is opposite. So now we have to pick the ratio. So we ask ourselves, what do I know? Well, I know the hypotenuse, and I know the opposite. So we go back to our ratios and we find out which one deals with opposite and hypotenuse. And we find out that opposite and hypotenuse is sine. Okay, so we're going to do sine, negative 1, parenthesis, opposite, which is 5.8, divided by hypotenuse, which is 8, and that's going to be equal to x degrees. So x degrees is equal to and now we type it in. So we do second sine 5.8 divided by 8, close parenthesis, enter. And you find out that the measure of x degrees is 46.5 degrees. 46.5. So that's what x is. Now, I also want to find y. So how do we find y? 90 minus 46.5. So we type that in, 90 minus 46.5. And 
and you find out that the measure of Y is equal to 43.5 degrees. And that's all there is. So what I'd like for you to do, I want you to pause the video and find for me X degrees and Y degrees. Find for me the two angles, the two acute angles of this triangle using those ratios. Okay, so let's find out how you did. We're first going to arc the angle. Then we're going to label our parts. This is adjacent. This is hypotenuse. This is opposite. So now, what do we know? We know adjacent and we know hypotenuse. So which ratio is going to be adjacent and hypotenuse? That is cosine. So we're going to do cosine negative 1 adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Okay, so x degrees is equal to inverse cosine, 10 divided by 17, close parenthesis, enter. And we find out that it's 53.96, which is 54.0 degrees. Now, how do I find y? y is just equal to 90 minus 54.0. So y is equal to, so we do 90 minus 54, and you find out that y is 36 degrees. So x is 54, y is 36. And that's all there is to finding a missing angle. And that's how we use the inverse trig ratios to find the missing angle when we know two of the side lengths of a right triangle. So until next time, I'll talk to you later.